We use broadband many times a day for work, school, or communicating with friends and family. However, some communities still don't have reliable internet access. It can be a big challenge for business, hospitals, schools, and regular households. But what is broadband really, and how can we make it better for these communities? Broadband, or a fast internet connection, is really just a digital signal that gets to your phone, computer, or other device quickly enough to power your digital life. Think of it like a road. Some roads are wide and smooth, but expensive. Others may be cheaper to build, but are small and bumpy. These digital roads move data across wires, fiber optic lines, or even wirelessly through the air. While this may seem like magic, it's not too complicated. Let me explain. The internet itself is a mesh of pools of data held in centers connected to each other through fiber optic lines. These data centers talk back and forth to each other trillions of times each second, kind of like cars and trucks on a super large highway. From the large pools, the data turns down smaller and smaller roads to reach you when you send an email, make a phone call, or watch a video. The small roads going to homes tend to have more congestion, so information seems slower, like a traffic jam. Digital signals can speed up by using fiber optic lines to connect your house or business to your Wi-Fi access points. While these high capacity fiber optic cables provide the biggest road out there today, they cost tens of thousands of dollars per mile in Oregon to build. Luckily, there are other ways for us to access the internet. Your phone gets broadband from wireless signals from cell towers that dot the landscape. These signals are slower than fiber optics, but they get faster as technology changes like 5G, which allows you to wirelessly stream videos while sitting on a park bench in the sun, for example. But as everyone else tries to do the same, the digital road gets congested. Also, the further you are from a cell tower, or if you happen to be behind a mountain, it's harder for the digital road to reach you. Another option is copper wire coming through the phone lines or cable TV connections. Phone lines were laid around most of the back country where getting an internet signal is hard or impossible. These phone lines are still humming along just fine. Some clever folks figured out how to get faster and faster signals down these wires and now they provide internet access. It's a huge stride for access to more remote people. Another possibility is to use cable television lines which can be even faster than phone line connections. Cell towers can also beam signals directly to houses and businesses. These can usually get farther into the backcountry than other signals and are often pretty fast. Satellite service is another option, though it's usually more expensive and has delays. But fiber optics provide the widest, smoothest road for digital information to travel. Some communities already have reliable, fast internet connections. They might use a mix of wireless, copper, and fiber optics, sometimes funded through government or telecommunications pools, or even funding it themselves. Do you have reliable access to the internet in your home or business? Check out these resources to learn about getting reliable internet access for your community.